Hello, my dear fellow developers. Uh, this weekend I uh, drove to Istanbul to pass my IELTS exam. Uh, and uh, I drove there alone and it was kind of uh, an extreme adventure. Uh, why? <laughs> you can ask. Uh, if you uh, ever been in Istanbul, uh, you could see how busy the city and how crazy is traffic there. Uh, and uh, uh, even uh, me with my uh, quite uh, big driving experience, uh, uh, I didn't really feel comfortable there. And uh, yeah, it's not my first time driving there, but it was first time when I went absolutely alone. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, this was uh, beautiful, but... Why I need my ILTS exam to be passed? Uh, because... Uh, I decided to change my job and change my country. I want to relocate. Uh, I want to relocate to UK, in particular to Edinburgh. Uh, you could guess it by my last videos. I got my job offer uh, much faster than I expected. And uh, honestly, I still can't believe that I will be moving for real. Uh, I still think that something will happen and uh, all my uh, plans will be ruined, but we will see. At least I will try. I booked my uh, test in the Asian part of Istanbul and I had not only to drive from Bulgaria to there, I should also cross the whole city uh, from European part to Asia and it was madness. First, I got stuck for uh, two hours on the border because uh, it's quite common uh, for Bulgarian people to go for shopping or for just for weekend uh, to Istanbul or to other Turkish cities. Uh, so I got stuck there. When I finally entered the city, I got stuck in huge traffic uh, before the bridge. And honestly, I thought I will stay there forever. <laughs> so when I finally arrived to my destination and I saw a parking, a private parking in front of my hotel. I just drove there. I wanted to leave my car there, but I was so stupid and I did not bring with me any cash, any local cash. And I had only Bulgarian money on me. And of course, uh, on these parkings, they do not accept cards. So I gave my car and key for my car to some absolutely random guys in the middle of Istanbul. And uh, I had to go and find um, an exchange. It felt a bit, you know, disturbing. So I just ran to the first exchange that I found and uh, like uh, with uh, such a crazy look, like, oh, please, can you change this? Uh, and the woman there, she just said, okay, I will change it for, I, th I had like 100 uh, Bulgarian leva and uh, I showed her that I want to change this amount of money. And she said, okay, it will be 500 uh, uh, Turkish liras. And I said, okay. And again, I was being stupid. I did not check uh, um, exchange rate at all. And also I did not have internet at that moment. I, I couldn't enable it while I was driving and I didn't want to stop. And I agreed to exchange it for this amount. And then I checked and I realized that this woman in currency exchange, she, she cheated me and she gave me twice less money than she should give me. And yeah, that was not nice. Um, but uh, okay, it was kind of a tourist tax. In some countries, you can get robbed on the streets. Uh, in Turkey, you will uh, get robbed with smiling people who will pretend they will just making you a great favor. If you're going there, you have to be ready to this kind of things. The neighborhood, it's, I think it's most, uh, it's one of the most interesting neighborhoods in Istanbul. I know that most people who come there, they uh, prefer more like touristic places with some kind of uh, no mosques and stuff like historic stuff, museums. 
And the Asian Park is more of a place where people actually live. It's Kadikyoi uh, neighborhood. It's probably one of the most hipsterish neighborhoods. So it's, uh, f uh, it's small streets and uh, it's full of small shops, uh, restaurants, bars, pubs, coffee places. And when I got out of my hotel and started to walk there, I just walked randomly and looked around and was so impressed by all this uh, diversity, all this beauty. And uh, I don't know, it's uh, so, I'm always so amazed by Istanbul. It's uh, such a beautiful and such a colorful city. It's really hard to choose where you want to sit for dinner because they're all places look so so nice, so welcoming, and there are so many animals everywhere, cats, dogs, and it's just nice how people treat them. I see everywhere food for cats, uh, houses for cats. I uh, haven't had much time, unfortunately. I had only one evening there, and uh, I arrived around uh, 5 p.m., so basically I just went for a short walk and a dinner, and uh, I was uh, swiping a little bit in Tinder in Istanbul. I wanted to see how is it. I mean, when I'm swiping in my city, I still get a lot of Turkish people there, but I usually swipe them left uh, because, you know, uh, it's a big cultural difference, mental difference for like us, and I don't think it would work out. Uh, but uh, that time I decided to try and to go out with maybe one of the Turkish software developers uh, because it's funny almost everyone I was swiping there they were software developers and uh, another funny thing at the same time they barely speak any English and you start chatting with them and then you realize that they use a Google Translate uh, for conversations I was um, arranging some meetings I was trying to arrange them but uh, the guy I wanted to meet, he started to tell me that he will come with his car and we will go somewhere in some special place, blah, blah, blah. And of course, it doesn't sound safe to me to go in the city where I hardly can orient myself. Like, I don't know directions, I don't know places, and to go with some random guy with his car to some random place, no, thank you. At the end, I refused, and I just uh, stayed alone. I drank my beer alone, and so just enjoyed the vibe of this place, this nice neighborhood. Istanbul is so crowded. That's the part that I don't like about it. Uh, I started to feel very, like, bad, nervous, anxious because it was a lot of people around all the time and I decided to go to the park and to try to find a quiet place to have some peace and uh, it was actually the opposite. When I entered the park I was shocked with the crowds of people, they were moving like all together, it was like some kind of demonstration, some kind of meeting but no, it wasn't really meeting or demonstration. It was just normal Saturday evening in uh, Moda Park. Uh, it's a park by the sea uh, there. I found a spot on the stones uh, just with a view to Bosphorus Channel. And I was sitting there alone and I was just uh, filming some stuff and doing some stuff in my phone. And for the five minutes I was there, sitting, few men approached me. And again, these men, they barely spoke any English, uh, but they tried to like do, make some conversations with me. Uh, one of them, he ate some flower seeds and he started like to uh, ask me if I want to share some sunflower seeds with him. At, at some point I just figured out that if I want to stay in peace and quiet, I have to just go to my hotel, lock the room and just stay there. And that's what I did actually. So no nightlife in Istanbul for me, unfortunately. And the next day was dedicated to the test, to the exam. Uh, the test was uh, absolutely uh, the same as it was on YouTube videos that I watched before. and. I did not really prepare because I uh, figured out that I need to pass it just week before the test. And what you can do for one week, nothing. So I basically just watched a few videos about the test and how, how the, all the process usually goes. And I went for my speaking 
part first and it was very short and very I would say it was very easy then uh, I had a break like maybe two hours before the next three parts listening uh, writing and reading and what I think for me the hardest part was uh, uh, reading because of the stupid questions they ask there uh, it's not about you understanding the words, sentences, sentences or whatever. It's about some pervert logic that they use uh, preparing these questions. So if you're interested, you can uh, check. I will leave uh, the link below to one of the tests, uh, the such kind of tests that I mean, like what was complicated for me. Um, I still don't know my results. I hope they will be acceptable i mean i don't need high score for my visa i need it to be like uh, b1 for uh, for band four i think uh, and uh, i'm quite sure i did it if not it will be a surprise for me yeah but still everything is possible after the test i just jumped into my car again it was uh, around 5 pm uh, so i spent in istanbul exactly one day uh, and I jumped into my car and I drove out of the city. At this time, my navigation uh, sent me uh, not by the bridge through Bosphorus, but by the uh, tunnel uh, under it. And it was much faster and nicer. But all these tunnels, bridges and nice roads, they are all paid. You have to buy a special sticker and put it on the, on the windshield of your car and uh, all these uh, tunnels and bridges they have such special uh, gates where they're reading the uh, they reading your sticker they're reading your number plate and uh, they charge you you put some money on the sticker you um, it's kind of a subscription and they charge you for these uh, roads so i went through this tunnel it's a bit more expensive than the bridge but still it's like nothing i mean i will better pay than stay one hour in the traffic i escaped istanbul very fast and i was so happy uh, my estimated arrival time was like 9 pm i should be at home wow so cool but then i arrived to the border and I stuck there for three hours again. It was terrible. It's not like I did not expect it, but I was so fucked up after the long day, after the test, after the driving. And then you have to stay three hours there. And then you have to drive uh, through mountain road in total darkness. I mean, yeah, I still have lights on my car, but it's, it doesn't feel comfortable for me to drive in the mountains at night. I came home around midnight, totally fucked up and on the next day I had to work so no rest for the wicked I'm glad I did it and it's uh, one of steps to my relocation is done I still have a lot to do I still have plenty of documents to prepare for me, for my kid. I still doubt in success of this. So wish me luck and thank you for watching this video. Uh, subscribe, like and bye.